So here we have a subject. Yeah? And if you look at his rotations in nine degrees of flexion, we have found that in this position, his lateral rotation yeah, is uh, limited compared to the other side. If you then put him prone, now we suddenly see that the lateral rotation is okay, and now it's the medial rotation that is limited. So if in 90 degrees of flexion the lateral rotation is limited, whereas in zero degrees of extension the medial rotation is limited, that would be indicative of a short pediformis. Now, what we also very often see that for the pediformis, the sciatic nerve is a very important mechanical interface. So, can you mind your back? So, now we have a look at this straighter rays on the non pediformis shortness side, and we see he has 80 degrees. Then we look on the straighter rays on the short pediformis side, and then we see he does not. 80 degrees. This is maybe 60. So if his straight leg raise is short on the left side, we could of course mobilize with flexion induction of the hip. But if you mobilize with flexion induction of the hip and the straight leg raise improves, you do not know does it improve because you have stretched the piriformis or because you have mobilized the lumbar sacral plexus. So can you move towards me a little bit more? What we're going to do, we're going to mobilize the piriformis, we're going to stretch the piriformis yeah, by mobilizing lateral rotation, yeah, and then reassess the straight away. Because if after stretching the, straight, the piriformis, the straight array improved, you've shown that it was a short piriformis, which was the disturbing <coughs> interface for the sciatic nerve. you can work with hold relax techniques you can work with more sustained holds but I actually already feel that as I mobilize lateral rotation I increase the range of lateral rotation so something is evidently already happening So now we reassess the lateral rotation. And the lateral rotation is now 45 degrees. But we also reassess the medial rotation in front. Can you walk around? It would be nice if the medial rotation has changed, no? So the medial rotation is now just a thing, no? What is that? 35, 40, yeah. and then we reassess the straight away. Make sure you keep the knee straight. No, it's not quite the other like the other side, but can you feel the difference? So that shows you how important it is to look at rotations, inflection, extension, and make your hypothesis from that. Thank you very much.